The need to install Windows 7 or 8 from a USB device, like a flash drive, is a common one since many computers, especially tablets and small laptops and desktops, no longer have optical drives. If you want to install Windows 7 or 8 from a USB device, you will need to get those files from the DVD to the USB drive. Unfortunately, simply copying them there won't do. To complete this task, you will need access to a computer fitted with a DVD drive, a USB flash drive that is 4GB minimum, Windows 7 or Windows 8 DVD. The setup procedure is the same for both operating system. First we need to identify the existing drives, so we double click on the file explorer found on the taskbar. In our example we find three drives, local drive C which is our main drive that contains the operating system, a DVD drive which has been allocated the drive letter D and a further drive that is used for data storage. You may find that if you are following this practically you may have more or less drives. It is important to identify each one before continuing. The USB drive that we shall be using is a 16GB Patriot flash drive. This can be plugged into any of the USB ports on the computer. In most cases this will cause a window to open, assuming that the flash drive contains a partition. Next we need to start the command prompt with administration privileges. If you are using Windows 8, as in our example, right click on the start button, then from the drop down menu click on command prompt admin. It should be pointed out that after each command you should press the enter key. The program which you'll be using is called disk part and to access this we type in disk part. This is not case sensitive. After a few moments the cursor will return. Disk part is a command line hard disk partition utility included in the versions of Windows NT operating system line from Windows 2000 onwards. Replacing F disk which was used in the MS-DOS based operating systems. To view the existing drives we use the command list disk. As the command implies this will list all the hard drives including any connected to the USB ports. Notice the drive letter of our USB drive, it is listed as G. As we pointed out this computer is fitted with two hard drives and a USB flash drive. We can see here that the drive 0 is 460 gigabytes and has been allocated drive C. The next drive, disk 1, is an additional drive that contains data only and finally the flash drive is listed as disk 2 and is 14 gigabytes in size. We now need to select the correct drive so we use the command select disk 2 in our example. This means that any action that we make will affect disk 2 only and not the others. So be very careful and always double check that this is your flash drive. The next command, called clean, will erase the flash drive and remove any partitions. In our example this has caused Windows G to close. Now a primary partition will need to be created using the command create partition primary. Now this needs selecting using the command select partition. Once again any further commands will only affect this partition. Now a format using the command format fs equals ntfs. fs is file system and the type is ntfs. This will take several minutes to complete. At this point the flash drive does not have a drive lighter. To allocate one we use the command assign. In most cases this will cause the flash drive window to open as shown in our example. This time it has been allocated drive F. That completes the partitioning so we can quit this part using the command exit and return to the normal command prompts. This final step is to make the flash drive bootable and this is achieved by using the utility found on the Windows 7 or 8 DVD so this needs inserting now. When prompted with tap to choose what happens with this disk, click on this message then on open folder to view the files. To access these files type in d colon cd boot. Notice the spaces in this command. This should have caused the d prompt to appear. 
type in bootsec.exe forward slash nc60 f column. Once again, check the drive letter and make sure you leave the correct spaces. That completes all the commands, so we can close the command prompts. All we need now to do is copy all the files and folders from the DVD to the flash drive. So we click on Select All, then Copy. Select the flash drive, in our example it is F. Then Paste. That completes the setting up of the flash drive. Now we need to eject the flash drive, so close all windows. Click on the selector found on the taskbar, then click on the USB icon. In our example we have clicked on Eject Patriot Memory. Once the message, Save to Remove Hardware appears, remove the flash drive from the USB port. To install Windows on another computer, first switch it off, then insert the USB flash drive into any of its ports. Switch on and enter the BIOS. In our example, this was done using the F2 key, but this in most cases will be the Delete or Del key. I like the boot options, then press Enter. Select the first boot, then change this to USB. Save and exit, normally using the F10 key, and allow the computer to reboot. The installation is the same as you would follow using the DVD.